First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the pots and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that sees his word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, I uh, just want to get into a lesson on how this info war, you know, ultimately, the so called white man is, is going to turn it to be physical, man. See, this information that we possess is what's going to drive this man to come down with great wrath. You know, and we seeing it now in the beginning stages. You have this censorship, YouTube guidelines. You pretty much got to walk on air cells concerning anything that you say. You know, and ultimately, this man is gonna have he's gonna have to do something about it, man. At the end of the day, you know, and the, the targets are the ones who have the testimony of you. How shy. So I got this article, this is from Newsbreak, and it reads, NIH director wants consequences for jab conspiracy theorists. <laughs> so consequences for bringing forth this information. And then when you, you know, you know, dealing with the so-called white man, when you hear conspiracy theory, it's set up for you to just throw the whole idea out the window. Because there are some truths concerning, you know, conspiracy theories, but you also have the ones, those ten four hat ideas, such as uh, astral reptilian people, you know, and, and crazy shit like that to just make you throw the whole thing out when you hear that word conspiracy theory. But now we're in a time where truth is consuming the planet Earth. Before I get into the article, let's get this. In the book of Second Ezra, Shalakia. Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. Second Ezra, six verse twenty-seven. It says, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched." See, and this is how the so-called white man was able to maintain, you know, his power was through deception, keeping the people in the dark. You know, but now it is it, is it, is being um, the wisdom his wisdom is perishing. Truth is now settled upon the planet Earth. You know, and that's why uh, you hear the word conspiracy theory being thrown out more and more. <laughs> that phrase because this this man is now being exposed. You know. If that was his strength, was to dwell under the banner of secrecy. It tells you that his right hand is a right hand of falsehood. But now that's being taken away. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, see, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So it was a point that this truth was suppressed. And it was the so-called white man that was doing it. Suppressing his word on all levels. It's to the point now. You got Hamites calling themselves Africans. You know, you got uh, the, the, these Moabites calling themselves Chinese. Our people with all these different by words, and you know. But all these things are coming out now. The light is shining on everything. Oh, that why I tell you this word. It's going to fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. And that's what we saying, man. Truth has sprung forth throughout the earth, man. But you see, this is this is uh, pretty much a hit dog barking. You know, this nigga saying he's calling for consequences for truth coming out. He really don't go into it or what it actually is, but we know ultimately he just want to kill you, man. So let's read the article. It said, National Institutes of Health, NIH Director Francis Collins, think that people who spread 
so-called misinformation about the crown online. See? <laughs> online. It says, and Dr. Ashley Fauci should be identified and brought to justice. See? And that key word is online. Because this is where that this this is the stage where this is taking place. That spiritual war is taking place. But what did he want to be brought to justice? Which ultimately he's he's really turning to just kill him, man. It says conspiracies are winning here. See? <laughs> the old women prisons of Yahweh by Shemel Shah has set up on the planet Earth. Let's get that. I know I quoted, but let's just get it. The book uh, Habakkuk 2. And this devil is as he's being consumed by the spirit of the mouth of the Lord, man. Habakkuk 2, verse 14, it reads, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. So the earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. This information, man. The testimony of how it's shining. You're going to hear about this word one way, form, or fashion. You know. And it's making things happen. Even Esau. You know. By the way, this word coming forth, this is causing this man to react. You know? And ultimately, that frustration is going to lead to wrath. This information that we hold, we, we got possess this truth. It's gonna, it, this is what's going to make us a target. You know? But it said conspiracies are winning here. Truth, their truth, so called. It said that's a reality, that's a really serious indictment of the way in which our society to be traveling. Collins, who was soon stepped down from his post at the head of the NIH, told the U.S. the Washington Post on Friday. It said describing an onslaught of angry messages faced by White House Crown advisor and former NIH um, physician Anthony Fauci. So, you know, this nigga Fauci getting death threats and shit now. This man is being found out to be the devil, man. And that's just how him is going to be found out the, the whole Edomite race from the, the Edomite baby to the old lady at the grocery store. All on the devil, man. So how much more the powers that be? It's being found out that they the devil, man. It says, Collins said the government needs to push back more forcefully <laughs> against misinformation and suggest that those responsible for spreading such information should be identified and brought to justice. See? Hey, it said Collins did not leverage on what justice might entail. So that lets you know that means he want to kill you, man. At the end of the day. You're going to do 10 years. They would... Because you brought, brought out information on concerning the MOTB. No, it's not going to. It's just only going to kill you. Because this, this truth is what's ultimately causing their downfall. But that's, that's pretty much the point. This word is going to make you a target for the devil. And a lot of the Israelites are going to find that out the hard way. See, this truth, ultimately, being involved in this truth is you. Actually, waging war against Esau. You know? And this is following his plans as well. So let's get some real quick. This is the book of Proverbs. I think it's 29. Bear with me. Yeah, Proverbs 29, verse 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. See? Yeah, because Esau is an abomination. And everything he presents and, and whatever his name on, it's an abomination. You know, it says, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. See, why? Because we call him out on his ill doing, his evil dealings. We tell him that he's off. You know, his system is off. And that's why we're hated by him. He hates righteousness. You know. I would tell you that, uh, we're going to be hated uh, for the, the, the namesake of Yahweh Shai. 
because we 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 basing everything off what the scriptures say. That's the measuring stick. So ultimately, he, it goes back to him and Yahweh Shai. Yeah, but he's doing it through us, man. But it's because of this information that we have. Let's get this in the book. Because like I said, it's going to be consequences. You're going to be brought to justice concerning bringing forth certain information. You know, really this truth, man, at the end of the day. Because what else? What other... What else can you go there and tell us the downfall of uh, America that tells what so-called white man, his plans and his intentions are, the results of it? You know, when the smoke clearing the dust out after World War III, what, what's going to take place? And all of it is bad news for the so-called white man. See, he can deal with truthers that, you know, they might know a little something, they might know the agenda, but they still want America to be here. He can he can rehabilitate them. For those who are steadfast in your side, you know. He just ultimately just gotta just that's 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 the only thing he can rationalize in his mind. That's the only solution for him. Just kill him. Let's get this Revelation 12 verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, see? And you seeing uh, this man is becoming angry. He's been more frustrated. Oh, you know, Biden, a few, uh, about a month ago, telling he, he, his patience is wearing thin. That wasn't Biden saying that. That was those elites. Through Biden, you know. This devil is, is mad. Why? Because you're not consenting. Consenting. Because this truth is what's... Uh, have us, you know, uh, standing still. It says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. See? So he's making war now. By the way, these laws and legislations, those bitter words to shoot at the perfect. See? The, the, it, it was for the perfect. That's who the bitter words were for. You know? It says, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. See, so that's who this man really coming out. That's who he want really to be brought to justice. Because that's what, that's what we're talking about, justice. You know, showing you this, this man is the devil. And showing, and, you know, and telling you what needs to be done. When this nigga saying, you know, the ones that had a testimony of Yahweh Shai need to be brought to justice because we telling you that you the devil. We find out who you is. You can't get mad at me because I caught your hand in the goddamn cookie jar. Or I was right there when you robbed that person. You just been found out to be the criminal, man. You know? And ultimately, whatever thing, everything that this man do is going to come tonight. You know, the Lord already got this man fate set in stone. This is the book of uh, Psalms 11, verse 1. I mean, verse 2. It says, For lo, the wicked bend their bow, and they make their arrow ready upon the string. See? So when you bend your bow and make, and, and, and make your arrow upon the screen, you aiming at somebody. And that's what these laws and legislations are set up for. Certain stipulations of things come up, this law activates. This executive order come into play. And it's aimed at a specific group. You know? So that's what this man did. It's ultimately for the ones that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai to possess this truth, to have the light. It says that they may privily shoot at the upright and hard, see, so that as you know, what that that's what's in your mind, that that information, this truth, that's who this man is gonna come out to really. Yeah, he's gonna get niggas. Yeah, he's gonna get certain resistors, you know. But who he really want? Who he's really coming out to? The ones that are upright and hard. Matter of fact, I think that's also in Psalm 37. We'll wrap it up with this. It said, good is set against evil, life against death. 
that that's playing out on all levels, even concerning information pertaining to life and death, man. While he's bringing forth the inf the information of death, we bringing forth the information of life, man. So even online, how this devil said that fight is happening. So this is the book of Psalm 37. I start at verse. 12. It said the wicked plot of against the just. See? And that just is not talking about all of Israel. That's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, and gnashed upon him with his teeth. See? The Lord said, laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. See? Because ultimately, that commandment, Psalms 105 and 15 said, touch not mine anointing, do my prophet no harm. These, other, these, king, these kings, they understand that. You know these other nations because that was a decree for these other nations Esau asked he's going to test that theory and you know what I mean you can read it in the book of wisdom Psalm in the second chapter you know which that goes to he's going to come down ultimately his secret counsel his 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 ultimately his uh out of all of that counseling the thing he come up with was to to gather the you know those men that's of another fashion and torture them and, and kill them with the spitefulness and you know because of the information that we possess man this truth so the Lord's gonna laugh at this man because you how about some I said don't do it and this nigga did it man he's gonna do it it says the wicked have drawn out the sword see and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy it says, and to slay, such as be of upright conversation. See, so started with the teachers on down. This who this nigga really want, man. You know, the ones is of upright conversation. What is upright conversation? Prophecy, the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That's upright conversation. The things concerning the downfall of America. You know, the upbringing of our people. Uh, Exposing this man on his agenda, the ins and out of that crown in the jail. This is upright conversation and warning you from this man. So that's who he's wanting to slay, and that's who that's who he wants to be brought to justice. But at the end of the day, you know this nigga gonna die, and that lit is gonna live, man. You know when the smoke clear and the dust settle, this nigga gonna be abased, and that lit will be exalted. So y'all, yeah, I, I just hope that we're edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rechakodash. Double honors to the possible elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. It's his word and our true faith and sincerity.